The 19th description and attribute of the Quran in the Quran is Basair, which is actually the plural of the word Basira. Many languages, even in Urdu today, they use the same word. There is Basar, sight, and there is Basira, vision. Basar sees things from outside. Basira, you see through things. You, you, you kind of have a vision. You, you can you know, can almost predict the future um, and, and because you're not deceived by how things look on the outside. That's why when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-An'am, Surah number 6 and Ayah number 104, it's an amazing ayah. Uh, it says, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ بَصَائِرٌ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ Here comes to you eye-opener. And it's in the plural, eye-openers. You know, not one eye-opener, but multiple, right? Because our problems in life comes on multiple levels. There's social, sometimes relationships, uh, uh, you know, time management, self-management, money management, you know, family management. It could be different. So you need different eye-openers. You need, you need a different lens for you know, to see things in different situations. So Allah calls the Quran, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ بَصَائِرٌ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ فَمَنْ أَبْصَرَ فَلِنَفْسِهِ Whosoever chooses to see, he only sees for the benefit of himself. وَمَنْ عَمِيَ فَعَلَيْهَا And whosoever chooses to be blind, he's only doing that against his own interest, his own self. You're not hurting God. You know, you want to choose to be blind, go ahead. But why would you want to do that? Don't you love yourself? Don't you respect yourself? Don't you want to be the best? Don't you want to succeed? Don't you want shortcut to things instead of going through trial and error and pain and suffering? Instead, you do the right thing, you know, and, 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 and that saves you time and energy and money and pain and suffering. Subhanallah. So Allah says, فَمَنْ أَبْصَرَ فَلِنَفْسِهِ Whosoever chooses to see, وَمَنْ عَمِيَ فَعَلِيهَا وَمَا أَنْتَ وَمَا أَنَا عَلَيْكُمْ بِحَفِيظٍ And Allah is teaching the Prophet ﷺ to say, And I have no control over you. I, I'm not going to make you make choices. Rasulullah cannot make you do things. You have to do them by your own choice. Allah will not force you to do something. You have the freedom of the will here. And you have to choose things yourself. So may Allah Azza wa Jal always uh, give us the Quran as eye-openers so that we can save so much pain and suffering. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum.